In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this nine video split screen or video wall in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so to start, you're gonna need nine video clips that are stacked on top of each other. So I have these nine animal clips here, and then you're just gonna trim them down so they're the same length as whatever your shortest clip is. So I'm gonna do it by just dragging the end down and scooting them all down like this. But you can also go in and use your razor tool and just slice, 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 and then go back to your selection tool and click on all the extra bits to delete them. Once you have all your clips trimmed down, the next thing we're gonna do is scale them all up to be the same size. So I'm working on a 4K sequence, as you can see here, but this bear clip, for example, is only 1080, so it's smaller. So to scale them all up, we're gonna click over here, highlight them all, right click, and then choose scale to frame size. That's just gonna make sure that every single one of them is 100 over here, and that means they'll be filling up the full frame over here. Next, we're gonna go back down and highlight everything again, and then go up to our effects. If you don't see effects, go to window and then down to effects right here. And in this little search thing, we're gonna type in transform, and then drag transform onto all of our clips. You'll see them all get highlighted, drop that on. And then under this transform in the folder here, we're also gonna click on crop, and drag that onto every single clip as well. Now, if we click away and then click on one of our clips, then scroll down here, we're gonna start by messing with crop. Now, make sure that crop is under transform. So we can see here that transform is above crop. We need it to be in that order. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down to crop, and this clip right here is gonna be in my top left corner. So on this one, I'm just gonna go into crop right because I'm going to chop off this whole section and I'm going to type in 66.6%. So that's going to chop it off to there. And then I'm going to chop the same off from the bottom, 66.6. .6. So your first clip at the top is going to be chopped right and bottom, 66.6. .6. Now we're on the bird one. So you, whatever your second clip is, we're going to scroll here down to crop. And now we're going to go 33 off of both left and right. So here, 33.3 .3 off left, and then 33.3 .3 off right, and then 66.6 .6 from the bottom. That same 66% is gonna be for all three of these. So the next one here, Water Dragon, now we're gonna go 66.6% .6 off the left, and then still 66.6 .6 off the bottom. Okay, so now we've created those three right here. Our next three, so Gorilla, we're gonna deal with this kind of square right here, this rectangle. So that means, again, starting from the right, we're gonna go 66.6 .6 from the right. You can see that, that chopped off all of that. And then now from the bottom, we need 33.3% .3 from the bottom and 33.3% .3 from the top. You won't see it cropped there because it's already under this one, but we've cropped it down to this right here. Okay, so frog, now we're dealing with this middle one right here. And this is gonna be 33 all over the place. So 33.3 .3 from the left, we're going 33.3 .3 from the top, 33.3 .3 from the right, and 33.3 .3 from the bottom. Next is gonna be the dog clip. So this one over here, and it's gonna be 66.6 .6 from the left, and then top and bottom, whoops, 33.3% and bottom, 33.3% to get that one. And then we're on to our last three. So now bird is gonna be this bottom left corner right here, so I'll scroll down. That means again, 66. Anytime we're dealing with any of these here, it's 66.6 .6 from the right. And then now we just need the top as 66.6 .6 to cram it into this corner right here. Second last one, snowy owl. We have 33 from the left, so 33.3 .3 from the left, 33 point three from the right and then now from the top 66.6 percent .6 to get into this one and then the last one cat we're just going 66.6 from the left and 66.6 from the top all right so now we have just kind of this messed up grid right here but the reason why we did crop and we didn't just go up here and resize them is now we can use transform right here to scale everything and it'll fit exactly in its little section and it won't ever go into any other section. So I'm gonna choose bear first and we can see that if we go to transform, 
All we have to do is scale it down first and you can see it shrinking there. So you can go all the way down to 33 or 34%. I'm gonna go to 36 and then just use position here to move it into place. So you can kind of move it over and up and you can plug it in right there. But the beauty of doing it this way is that if you want it to be zoom, more zoomed in, you can just upscale it and it'll just keep staying in that little section, okay? So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then once you do that, you can also shift it even a little bit or even shift it up a little bit. So this is gonna move it left and right, this one right here, and this will move it up and down within that little section. So I'm gonna move it over and place the bare one right there. So bird is gonna be this one right here. Just go down to transform, scale it down to around you know 30 something percent. And then in this one, all you have to do is this side and just scooch it up right there, boom. And it's in place. Water dragon, same thing, I'll do one more. Scale this one down. And then, oh, that's too low. Then move it over, move it up into place, and you're good to go. And then just repeat that exact same process for every single other clip that appears in your nine split screen grid. Okay, so once you have everything scaled and positioned the way that you want, there's a few other things that you might want to do. The first one being to change a clip to something else or move one clip to a new spot. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with this owl one right here. So I'm gonna click on snowy owl and then I'm gonna go over to my clips over here and find the new clip. So in this case, I'm gonna go and maybe find this like puppies one right here. So whatever you double click on here that's showing up in your source monitor, you're gonna be able to just go to the clip that you're trying to replace, right click, and then go up to replace clip with whatever is in your source monitor. So as soon as I click that, boom, it's gonna to change to that clip and it's gonna be scaled and positioned to the exact same spot. And the same technique could be applied if you wanna change a clip part way through. So I'm just gonna to go to my razor here and slice the bird one, let's say, and then find whatever I want in the source monitor here. So I'm gonna double click on Adler, which is this eagle, and then just go to the second half. So this is the original bird one right there. And I'm gonna go over here and select this bird one so I can right click and then go up to replace clip with from source monitor right here and that'll change that one to the eagle, but it won't change this one. So now you can see that even within the grid, as we play it, it's gonna to switch to the new clip right at that spot that I sliced. And then the other thing you might wanna do is add lines or kind of borders to break up your clips. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the very, very top right here. I'm gonna move this blue line just kind of to the start, and I'm gonna head over to my essential graphics right here. So when you click on that, you're gonna see that if you don't see essential graphics, it's under window and essential graphics right here. But we're gonna make sure we're selected on edit and then select this thing right here, new layer and choose rectangle. Then I'm just gonna kind of collapse this down so we can see this a little bit better and then scoot this up. You just wanna make sure that this graphic that appears is stretched out over the duration of your clips here. And then we're just gonna resize this to make a line. So I'm gonna stretch this out stretch this out and then collapse this down to make kind of a skinny line. And I'm gonna call this, uh, instead of shape one, I'm gonna call it line V so for vertical one. And if you notice when I click on it here, it's also gonna appear over here in effect controls. So now I can drop this down, this little triangle thing, and go to position under transform here and move it into place. You don't wanna use this one, vector motion up here, you wanna collapse that one down and use under transform within your shape here. Move this one over, so this thing will move it left and right. So I'm gonna click and slide this to the right to place it right there. Then I'm gonna go back over to my line here and I'm just gonna right click on it and duplicate it. So this is gonna be line V2. And that one right here, you can see it also appears here. So make sure you're not selected on V1, you're on V2 now. And then same thing, just go to transform, slide this one over to the other spot right there. If you wanted to do it for the edges, then just duplicate two more times and put one over here and one over here. For the horizontal lines, I'm just gonna right click and duplicate again. But this time I'm gonna change this to line H1. And then now when I select on that one, it's also gonna be over here just like before, but we're gonna have to go down to transform and go to rotation this time, type in 90, hit enter, and you can see that the line is not long enough. So we have to uncheck uniform scale, 
and then go to vertical scale and just stretch that out. Don't try and do it manually by going to here and stretching it out. Do it this way. And then same thing for position, but this time we're gonna use this side. I'm just gonna slide left to move that one up to here and then just right click, duplicate, call this one H2, select it, go over to our effect controls and slide this one down into place. And there you go. That's how you create a nine grid split screen or video wall in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.